So uh, basically today we're going to be doing three things to try to accomplish one thing. Mainly, we're going to be trying to get a little bit more power out of the car. We're also known as kind of free up a couple of those little German Shepherds under the hood of that German vehicle. Basically what we're going to be doing is uh, the custom exhaust I'm going to build, um, the Needs Wings uh, cold air intake we're going to install, and then a 74 millimeter throttle body. Alright guys, let's get at it. Car is a little bit too low to even get up on the lift. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if it works. Two nanny pieces under here. Yeah, I don't know. See the work on this side too. Damn, I gotta wash those. That's rough. You. Time to go up. Got this okay in. start by giving you a little look at what the exhaust did look like so when I previously got it how it sounds right now ooh, just notice that it's got no muffler and it's literally cooking and melting right here all the exhaust be blowing right back there it's probably heating up the diff it's probably doing some serious damage so I got to get rid of I got to fix this not even that so the previous owner he must have had some sort of issue over here because they went from the factory two and the quarter to this is if I measured it, it's like basically 2, 1.75 and I was scraping all over here. You can even see there's grass stuck in here. It needs to be raised up anyway, so we're going to go through and most likely delete the cats. The primary and secondary cats go up to 2.5 and, and then come all the way back and have a muffler dumping roughly right here. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, this exhaust should be pretty easy to come out. We're gonna start off basically it's a normal ratchet extension, so we're 13 on it, a 22 wrench for those twos, and then a little teeny impact gun to see if we can get it all off. Alright, so we're gonna hand it in a 22. On the O2 sensors. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty jack diesel. Nah, I'm just kidding. I started, I first broke a loose with this. But this one came out pretty nicely. Ah. Alright guys, we're going to start pulling the bolts that go to the manifold out. One thing I do recommend, safety glasses. Always do safety first with crap tip on your eyes. Also, this is the extension I'm going to be using. If you notice, it goes down to a quarter over here because going right up past the cats really kind of suck. And then also, I got a handy dandy piping. Use a brake bar in case I need it, but I've been doing my workouts lately, so I think I'll be good. Let's see this. Just on the wrist. Ah, America. Ah. Drop my socket. There we go. There it is. Give me back. If we break these loose, we'll hit it with the gun. Let me put the camera down. Alright, I got my devilish socket back. Let's break loose. Easier one. Ah. See if I'm strong enough. Yeah. 
Get this off again. Focus. Go Germany. Yeah, I broke that one loose. We got O2s out. We got both sparkling loose. Now we're gonna grab our uh, super old craftsman gun and whiz them off. All right, we got the four bolts off from the manifolds. They don't look too rusty. One huge word of advice with these, because I've seen a lot of them get bad. Always start with just breaking it loose. Don't go right to an impact gun, because you're gonna end up snapping them, and then you gotta worry about all this other crap. Because right now they came out, all I do is clean up the threads, and even get just new hardware. They'll go right back in. I won't have any issues when I have to take them off again. Next bolts, again, are going to be these four right here to finish up my exhaust. Now, normally when you're taking the exhaust off these, you're also going to have the muffler and everything. So all these bolts and everything else back there to remove. But as you see, most of mine's all hacked up. All right, let's break these loose. Oh, big star man. People wonder how I'm so strong. In a little bit, I'll tell you my secrets. All right, guys, here's the piping laid out for building my own exhaust. So far, the kit, this is just straight up just the piping part of it. We got four U's, four straights, four 90s, four 45s. All these have at least one end that's flared out, so you can slip right on and do easy welding and stuff like that. This is two and a half. That's why I chose just because I need to make sure I get enough clearance. All out took maybe 15 minutes to do. <sighs> we got cats. Man, that's still hot just from driving in the garage. So here's the factory one. Here's going to be the new setup we're building. And yes, I'll have a muffler or resonator on there. I'm going to wait till I build almost everything and just add it right to the end here. Alright guys, so this is probably the only part I'm really going to try to keep with the exhaust. So I'm going to cut them both up. First I'm going to start with this one right here. We're going to hand it in a saw. Oh yeah. I'm going to try to go as straight as I can so it's going to be easier to weld on. So we'll see what happens. Make sure everything's tight. Tight-ish. Touch the blade afterwards. Freaking bees. Video being paused. Mainly. Hunting hornets. Wondering why they keep hitting me. They're all up there. Oh, I got it in the car. That's rough. Point where I got a couple things cut up and measured. One thing I do, or two things I need to go get. I took measurements from the muffler already. So I'm going to go see what the local couple auto parts stores have for muffler, resonator, some sort of setup like that that will fit. And then also, I need to get an adapter or a flare tool to mate this side against the manifold on one of these flares. So we got those on the trunk. We're going to take the ML over there. Ugh. Ah! So hot. I'm definitely going to clean up the ML. Fire this bad boy up. Right on fire, like a champ. Oh. Uh. Hot, 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 hot in here. It's my only car with actual AC. You need it on, what is it, a 97 degree day? That's miserable. All right. Uh, let's go to the traditional ML, get out of the, get away from the house area. Uh, 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 uh. ML laugh. Oh. oh, what the? Oh well. Let's go for America. Oh. Like a champ. Like a champ, ML. All right, guys, what I got from the store. I ordered two of them. 
They only had one there right now, and the next one's going to be there in like an hour. They had to get it from the store, but I ordered two of the Cherry Bomb glass packs. Um, they're pretty free-flowing. I'm hoping it's not going to be too loud. If it is, then I'm going to have to figure out something else, but most likely I'll put these on and then run it for like a week or two and then make a decision if it's too loud. Getting the Sawzall out. Time to go. Ah! Alright guys, we're going to start knocking out some welds. Apologize about the lighting, it's sunny outside and I don't even know if it's going to come out good on camera. Start of the weld. I definitely got to adjust my settings a little bit but we'll, we'll clean that up with a grinder and everything. See where I stopped and kept going. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be fixed all up though. All right, guys, let's go back to do some cutting and welding. Here we go. All right, guys, we got the first side in. Don't mind my welds. I am not a perfect welder. More of a grinder, but it is sealed. It is not. It's not leaking. I tested it. If you ask how, it's a water technique. But. Up there, and uh, it's not that pretty hooting strong. So, I got the other side started with that little piece, and I got a little mocked up set right there. So, I gotta just keep cutting and welding. And then, uh, people ask how I do some of this stuff. My fancy little old CLK seat is a perfect height to just sit here, perfect seat to just sit here and just. Work on stuff and shit a little bit. Stormy is here. Stormy. All zonked out. She was critiquing my welds earlier. Haters. I was debating on welding something right here, either the factory harnesses, like with the factory bolts on it, but this one's still pretty sturdy. So we'll test it around and see what happens. I try to tuck it up as high as I can and everything, but. Because before we were we were hitting the other exhaust, the other exhaust was hanging. So you see how this one's sitting right here? The last one, literally, it was it was dropped pretty far down. What I do gotta add is just a just a turn down. Probably that's gonna do something like a very very basic, not exactly like this, but basic, just 90, just dump it, or just do uh, like a 45, just going like this and then down a little bit. We'll see. All right, guys, I got both sides in. Driver's side, all bolted up. Passenger side, don't mind the welds. I'm not the best welder. I'm learning right now. So there they are, going all the way back. Then it goes to basically two resonators with little brackets. And they turn down. Uh, there, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, can't move it. Same with that one, can't move, so we're gonna fire it up in a little bit. All right, now we're gonna drop it down, see what it sounds like. Yeah, let's go. Hey, make sure I don't scrape, because that would be unfortunate. All right, now it's gonna be loud, because we're in the garage. It's gonna be a cold start, and I should have a check engine light, because I deleted the secondary O2s, but I didn't delete them in the computer yet, so. Alright guys, we're going to start off with uh, <clears throat> putting the intake on and then the throttle body. So we're going to get rid of this basically factory huge air box that sits on top, gets super hot and heat soaked. The uh, needs wings, uh, single front intake. Uh, it's super easy to install. I'm not going to go through the whole thing of installing it. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you a couple little things because when you do order one, they send you a PDF that shows you like everything to do. Here's actually their... Uh, this is the part I do want to show you though. This is the mass airflow housing that they got. Your factory one goes right in there and it bolts right up. It makes it super easy and convenient. No more of that plastic one and then of it breaking off. 
All right, guys, we're ready to remove the throttle body. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need yourself a T45. And then just uh, any sort of wrench. I'm going to use my ratcheting wrench to like, get it in there and zoom out pretty quick. It's going to be the... I don't know if you see four bolts right here. Here's one, two, three, four, and they're on the bottom. It was right out. Um, they're barely even in there. Like, they're not too hard to get out. Just don't drop anything into the manifold once you pull this off. So just go slow and take your time. Yeah, I gotcha. All right, and then the plug, just go easy with it because you don't want to break anything off because they're old. So, and when you do it, just, just keep going slowly to pry this thing off. It's a tab there, and the tab there you push off, and then you can just prop the connector off. Also, remember, you gotta pull this part up, so just be careful, don't break it when it's old, and you got your old throttle body out. This is gonna be the new one that I, that is now kinda all cleaned up. The other thing you're gonna need you're going to need a new o-ring so you get two options if people ask where to get this all this throttle body is it's a 74 millimeter throttle body off the m113 v8s so you either try to get them off ebay which i think they're like 100 150 dollars off ebay and then you don't really know if they're tested or if you call up needs wing the same people who got me the internet or the intake they have these used i think they're 100 bucks and they uh they usually test them they're pretty good and then also you get this little gasket from them and it's five bucks from them so it's super it's more convenient that way this one i just took it off of my old vendor members my old clk 500 that now is over there that has the m113 k motor in it this is from the other engine there that i had on for the car ever since it was day one and it is a little bit modified but it should work when you got these uh used throttle bodies just make sure you get the mating surface and all that stuff cleaned up and then just get a little thing of throttle body cleaner and just clean it up. It's got this little wheel and it's going to go. And just go around the whole thing and get it all nice and clean. On the table, I'm going to show you the side by side between the two of them. Yes, yeah, so for millimeters, I'm pretty sure this is a 68 millimeter and this is the 74 millimeter. And then this one's definitely all dirty and corroded, so I'll feel a little bit more throttle response just from just from having a cleaner setup all right let's start putting them in all right the throttle body upgrades are pretty common in the 320 in the crossfire world other thing that i will say see all this crap make sure you pull this old gasket off and clean all this up too that way you're not going gasket on gasket all right i'm gonna take a little time and clean that up properly this is the old gasket it's pretty easy to get up so when you're pulling them off make sure you just pick it in and pull because if you try to cut you're gonna pull off in pieces but it should come off in one piece and then just clean everything up and throw the new throttle body on. All right, one quick helpful trick to get this gasket in, because if you keep trying to hold it in, it's eventually going to fall a little bit. So you take a little bit, and when I stress this a little bit, gasket ma maker, you're going to dab it on your finger, and then you just put it around the edge of it just to hold it stick. Do not do too much, though. So just be very, very cautious with it. All right, I just put a dab on my finger, and you can see, like, literally it's a dab, and it's holding up there very easily. And then you're just gonna make sure it's all gone around there. And I can just see how it's inside the manifold right now. I might have to be cleaning that up later on. But for now, let's throw that throttle body back on there. Nice new clean one. All right, throttle body's in. Mass airflow housing. We're gonna start putting the knees wings intake all on. One thing I will note to you guys, your placements of your clips. Make sure all of them, when you start doing stuff, are able so you could get in there and still so loosen them and adjust them when you're putting this thing back in. So like those I got, and that I got, where I can just hit there with the gun and boom, 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 then I adjust it. So let me put the rest of this thing back on. It's very easy to install, the needs wings one actually, it comes in here and then the filter will end up right behind the grill. I don't know if you can see it, yeah, there you go, you can see it. And there's a noticeable difference. And also if you remove the grill or you get like the 
Crossfire Grill that will go in here with modifications. It, it definitely improves the airflow over this uh, big one. And the other disadvantage of this, horrible heat soak. Because all the heat will rise up and then it just cooks on there. At least with this setup, the piping goes over here and it's not dead, dead center on the engine. You do get a little bit of heat soak coming up from the headers and all that stuff, but it is a night and day difference of just driving around in this. You'll feel the manifold and then you'll feel the intake and it is so much different. And also these, uh, these are pretty good quality. They're relatively inexpensive for like Mercedes wise stuff. Uh, they ship really quick. The guys over these rings are really good. They could get them in like tons of different colors and it's very good quality stuff. And then when you order their kit, the kit literally comes with everything. So nothing you're gonna have to do for this. You probably can't really see, but you have to, um, it comes with brackets to move the horn, one of the horns over there and the power steering. There's another bracket where you move the power steering cooler back a little bit, but the kit comes with literally everything and it comes off real clean. All installed with the throttle bond and everything and the clearance, is, I mean, it's pretty good clearance and everything like that. And you can just see how much cleaner, let me get this thing out. Ah. How much cleaner the engine bay is with it. All right, we're gonna try to just do a quick pull. I made a quick little trip to Mexico. We're gonna try a nice quick little 20. Now the car is already hot, already been driving around to get the throttle body used to it, so we'll see. All right, now it's 96 degrees. The car was hot. It's gonna do a nice little 20 pull. This is throttle body intake exhaust. got back from a uh, test drive in the SLK with the intake and the exhaust and throttle body all set up um, it wasn't bad so far it's pretty loud so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that loud I might put like a, another actual muffler on it or something like that but uh, next we're probably gonna be doing a video about installing the interior and the uh, seats and all that stuff but until then thanks very much guys and have a great day <sighs>